Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you a few tips, uh, some things you can incorporate into your eye makeup routine that help make your eyes look bright eyed, wide awake, doe eyed, whatever you want to call it, uh, maybe a little bit bigger than they already are. If you're heading off to work or you're headed off to school at the crack of dawn and you know you want to look bright eyed and bushy tailed but you don't necessarily feel bright eyed and bushy tailed, I think we've all been there. So there's some really easy things you can do in the morning or anytime. And I use my NYX Butt Naked Eyes palette that I talked about in my latest favorites video. And this is a really great assortment of shadows pretty much for any look, you know, every day, day to day, neutral look you want to do. So if you want to see how I use this palette to get this look, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to steer clear of is applying any kind of dark eyeliner into the waterline just because that is going to make your eyes, it does look really bold and um, really striking, which is pretty, but it's going to make your eyes look a touch smaller. So I'm going to take my Benefit Eye Bright pencil, which mine's really, really tiny, but it's basically just a very, very light pink. That's just going to almost make it look like the whites of your eyes are a little bit larger than they already are, thus making your eyes look bigger. I'm just going to apply it into my lower waterline and also into the inner corner of my eye. And I'm basically filling in any areas that look like there's shadows, which for me, I get some dark spots right in there alongside of my nose. And you want to make sure to blend it out with your finger or a fluffy brush. I'm going to apply this to underneath the arch of my brow for a highlight and then also right above the arch of my brow. It's a little trick you can use to kind of give your eye a little bit of lift. I'm going to be using my NYX Butt Naked palette and I picked this for a specific reason. It has a ton of medium shadows to choose from and you want to pick something that is um, has a little bit of shimmer to it because it's going to reflect light and nothing super super dark to go on your lid if you want to make your eyes look bigger because dark colors tend to make your eyes look smaller. So I'm using this large shader E60 brush and I'm going to pick up this color right here which is kind of a grayish, it almost reminds me of like a suede color and it has a touch of shimmer in it. So it doesn't darken your lid too much but it just enhances it a little bit with the with that touch of satin shimmer. I'm gonna pick up this brown. It's actually really similar to the color we use on our lid, which is over here, but it's just a little bit more of a tan. And I'm gonna get that on an E40 blending brush, and I'm just going to apply that into the crease and blend it up. Then I'm picking up this E35 Taper blending brush, which is one of my favorite crease brushes of the moment. And right next to that color we just used, I'm going to get this kind of a slate gray color. It's a really pretty color. But I'm going to start in the outermost corner because we don't want, again, we don't want it to get too dark. I'm just going to wiggle it back and forth in a V shape. You can even just spin your brush in a circle if you want. And then what I do is I'll take my eyeshadow and just blend it up and you want it to almost blend it up towards your eyebrow. So you don't want to blend it up towards your eyebrow this way, but it's okay if it touches it on this inner corner here. It's just going to make it look like the top edge of your lid is bumped up a little bit and a little bit higher than it really than it might really be. Take your E40 brush again and just blend that out a little bit more so you have a nice seamless blend. Then I'm going to pick up my shader brush again. So for this next step you can use any really light creamy highlight shade. I'm going to be picking up this color all the way in the upper left corner of the Butt Naked palette. Just in this inner part, brush back any of the gray that might be coming a little bit too far in. That's going to help. And you can do this anytime you're, you know, for any makeup look. It's going to really help brighten up that inner corner. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to line my upper lash line using this small angle E65 brush. Just looks like that. And I'm going to take this blackened gray shade all the way, it's in the middle, all the way in the bottom row. And I'm going to use that to line my upper lash line. Now you can use a liquid liner, you can use um, any kind of eyeliner you want, but I'm just going to stick with this because using an eyeshadow gives you more of a softer appearance and take it in a little bit but not all the way. So we're really using this color a lot, that same really light highlight shade in the upper left corner. This time I'm picking up my large fluff E50 brush and I'm going to get some of that color on my brush but then tap it off on the back of my hand so that it's not as, um, so it's not going to apply as much. And what I'm going to do is actually contour the outer edge of my eye just by tapping it in a straight line and you just want to brush back. That's going to clean up any of the darker shadows and really give your eye a nice bright appearance. 
You can do this with any look. Get that edge, a nice clean edge, and see how it just makes your eye kind of, gives it some lift. Okay, so now using that same gray shade that we used in the crease on a short shader E20 brush. And you want this color on your lower lash line to look really soft. It's actually okay if you pull it down a little bit farther in that outer corner. So it's just gonna look like your bottom lash line comes down a little bit farther, opening your eye a little bit. I'm going to stop about right here, so I'm not going to bring that color all the way in. We don't wanna close off that inner corner of our eye. Curling your eyelashes is actually one of the easiest things you can do to make your eyes appear really bright and wide-eyed. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyelash curler from Target and just curl my lashes. And then, surprise, surprise, I'm going to use my Maybelline One by One mascara. I actually did. I've been using this a lot, but I think it's actually perfect for this look because it doesn't dry really quickly, so you can keep building up, and that is key to this. If anything, you want to spend the most time on your mascara because the longer your lashes look, the bigger your eyes are going to look. Then I'm going to apply a bunch of mascara to my lower lash line and do the same thing that I did with our gray eyeshadow. Just kind of stop right here. So I don't want any of that mascara to go into that inner tear duct. Okay, so there's a few more things that you can do. Some quick tips that I want to quickly mention. And you can do with the rest of your eye makeup to give you that really wide awake, doe-eyed appearance. And one is to use an eye brightener. And I always use an eye brightener underneath, layered underneath my under eye concealer. That's just how I like to wear it. I feel like it keeps it from giving you that white raccoon eye that you can get sometimes with a really light brightening product. So two that I would definitely recommend from the drugstore. This one is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Eye Brightening Perfector. I've talked about this a million times and it's just a brush, like a click pen with a little brush. And the shade that I've always used is Fair. So I'll just kind of brush that on into the inner corner, like the inner corner of my eye. And then tap it in and layer my concealer on top. Or the one that I've been loving lately because I think that the sponge applicator makes it so easy to apply. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Treatment Concealer. And this is just the brightening one. So they do have some shades, some different concealer shades. But this one is just the, uh, the brightening shade so it's a very very light pink and it works really great and like I said it's just so easy to apply it's like the perfect size and then another thing you can do is use a setting powder for your under eye that also has those kind of brightening effects one that I absolutely love is the bare minerals well rested and it's very interesting because it doesn't really it just kind of looks like a tinted yellowish powder um, but it doesn't have any like sparkles or anything like that but when you apply it to your under eye area with a fluffy brush like an E40 is just kind of apply it like that and then just bring it along the top of your cheekbones or even down a little bit further alongside your nose that will just enhance it even more. So that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe picked up a few tips along the way. Maybe a few things will work for you. You can incorporate into your routine. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye.